Hi guys, as you know I live in Folkestone and every Thursday we get our local paper called the Folkestone Herald and as you know 823 migrants landed last week on a record day and also I put up that video that they were apparently smuggling guns. Now rather than actually buy this paper today because I went over and basically looked at it and not one single word was actually said about either of those two stories. Look at this. Front page. The front page is nothing about migrants leading the way in the world's lower leaves, which is our local park. Page two, nothing to be seen here. Page three, nothing to be seen here. Page four, no, all about the park. Page five, no, charities rally to support Afghan refugees. My old friend, my good friend, Bridget Chapman, there you go. Kent Refugee Action Network, just have a read, just pause it. Read it, she's asking for people to open up their rooms, give sofas and everything to these Afghan migrants. Look, can you see they are keeping us locals down here in the actual dark? Just read it for yourself, I don't need to read it for you, just pause it and just read it. It's absolutely disgusting. Next page, can we find anything about this? I mean, it's unbelievable. Can we see anything about it? The next page, nope. It's all about a cable car. Nope, make the most of bank holiday. Nope, now we're talking about classrooms. Now we're dogs being rescued from a cliffside. Advert, abandoned military prison. Now it's time for the letters. Now it's time for oh, our good friend, Damien Collins, who I went to actually support the Gurkhas two days before he actually did. And now we just go on and on and on. Can you not see? This is awful. It's a left-wing puff piece, not worth the paper it's written on.